Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Natasha Martinez. Rosie Rivera is the younger sister of legendary Mexican-American singer Jenny Rivera, who tragically died in a plane crash in 2012. But now the singer-actress is opening up about her relationship with her late sister and her triumph over abuse and addiction in her new memoir titled My Broken Pieces. In the tell-all, Rosie shares never-before-told stories about Jenny's rise to stardom and how her untimely death affected the family in many different ways. Rivetta hopes to inspire other women who have suffered through family issues, and we have her coming up right here with more on her book. Check it out. Hello, I'm Rosie Rivera, and I am an author, entrepreneur, and motivational speaker. This is my new baby. It is My Broken Pieces, or Mis Pedazos Rotos in Spanish. And with this book, I want to inspire, motivate, and give women hope, and ultimately change the sexual abuse rate. I wrote this book um, because I really truly believe that we have to speak up, that our silence about any type of abuse gives the pedophile or the abuser power. Well, my experience I thought was only me, but as I grew up, I found out that it happens a lot. I mean, I was sexually abused by my sister's first husband. My sister is Jenny Rivera, and she was always working and her first husband sexually abused me from eight to 11. And he threatened to kill her if I spoke up. He knew, you know, an abuser knows what our weaknesses are. And I was an eight year old, uh, loving my sister, I adored her, and he threatened to kill her. So because of that fear, I shut down and my voice was stripped. But my sister helped me through all of it. You know, she held my hand and said, sister, let's talk about this, you can do it. And I said, who cares about Rosie Rivera? You know, you guys are the famous ones. But like I said, I realized that this is a lot of people's stories. So many girls, their uncle, their grandpa, their dad's friend, their mom's new boyfriend. It happens so, so much. And I thought, now I'm healed and I'm finally at peace. I can't keep this to myself. I have to speak up and hopefully be a voice to the voiceless. <laughs> Writing this book was tougher than I thought. Um, you know, the editing process is difficult. You know, you, you have to go through it over and over. I've read this book, gosh, like seven times, and it's my life. But you know, I learned each time, and I was very happy to write it. I was happy to, to note things down and even reread it. You know, the most difficult part was writing and reading um, my sister's passing. This is something that I've never talked about. Out of the hundreds of interviews that I've done, I haven't spoken about what happened inside our home when we first got the confirmation that, that she was gone. We were hoping that she was, you know, alive somewhere. So writing it down was very difficult. I've warned my family, you know, they are gonna have to relive this. I've let them know when you get to chapter 17, just, you know, pray and get through it. Um, but even then, letting that out was good. I got to process my grieving through this book and hopefully other people that have been through grieving can process their pain also. A lot of people think that this is just something to grab fame, to get money, to use my sister. And I want people to know that Talking about sexual abuse used to be a big taboo. And I say used to because my goal is to make it a topic we can discuss. But more than anything, I wanna help thousands and millions of people heal.